Hi guys, recently I had a day off and in order to spend this doing something useful I decided like I usually do go to buy requests at Fiverr and to look for some lonely uh, programmers that are about to solve their tasks but uh, encountering some issues and one of these guys, uh, his name is uh, Hosman, basically that's the nickname, or just the username, but his name is Hosman. He's from Ukraine, by the way, but he doesn't speak either Ukrainian or Russian, it seems like only Ara Ara Arabic, Arabian, Arabic, I don't know how to call this, uh, and English, and his uh, English is quite pretty well, by the way. And he had an issue, uh, he was trying to extract the uh, phone number from the e-commerce site, but what he got he uh, he got basically the base 64 GIF image, and he was thinking about starting to use uh, uh, optical character recognition system in order to scrape actually to extract that phone number. But uh, there was actually a much easier solution. I found a rare mobile version for the particular site he was scrapping, and there was. Uh, a version which uh, has provided the phone number in the plain HTML tag, well, something like paragraph or like that. So, uh, just uh, spoofing the user agent helped him basically to get the very uh, phone number itself, and he has to use this hidden phone uh, in his user, uh, user agent. And he called me a brother, bro. Yeah, <laughs> it was successfully scraping. He was he was really happy about that. Well, I didn't really take money for that, but just like it's professional stuff. Like it's always good to help somebody. Somebody would always help you, and that's basically great. And uh, what he did uh, in return, he actually shared the some ex extremely handy resource he's using to do the web scrapping and uh, it's the Cro Chrome extension called uh, Web Scrapper basically and uh, what a cool thing about it is it's absolutely visual so no code is needed uh, in order to use this so it's just a simple Chrome extension and now I'd like to demonstrate you the power of this and by the way here it's like the def like Chrome extension, extension basically, yeah. so it also has the video tutorials uh, in here and uh, in this three videos uh, they cover kind of the most ever basic things you would ever need to uh, to deal with in order to use this exten extension successfully and what am I supposed to do now is actually like kind of some sort of duplication of this but still I really want to share it with you uh, guys I, I really want to sh share this tense for it's really cool like if you are about to scrape the e-commerce site uh, which uh, doesn't use the plain HTML but it's then it uses things like angular to render the content on the users client side like in the browser like my my app uh, CodeMonkey Kins app actually does use the angular uh, JS as the front-end framework and if you just uh, see the view page source you won't really see much in over here the, the, the only thing you would supposed to see is just the ng view tag and that's it and basically it's it's not even related to this particular page it's just it covers only this uh, navigation bar and this footer downside and nothing about the content of the page no matter uh, which which particular page uh, you're about to, to go to just al always the same source would be here so this ng view is rendered on the client side and that's uh, usually really difficult to deal with especially if you're writing the scrappers like in the command line like scrappy does a beautiful soup things like that and you have to use selenium uh, it's a headless some sort of headless browsers and s things like that and that's comes really complicated uh, but if you really need to just uh, scrape a little amount of data maybe not that little it, it also supports some uh, scrolling elements like if you just scroll down and the elements are really arising there down there it's also supported by this uh, sort of extension now I just want to demonstrate to you how how cool is that so so what is basically uh, this uh, stuff is all about so here uh, let, let's imagine this is a, some sort of the e-commerce site and 
uh, each entry uh, in our case uh, this entry is a product a software product which has some items in it. the name of product the description author the source code link and the download link and uh, what it how, how it works basically it calls the API and uh, goes j just fetches the data from the database but the sites usually don't provide at least for free they don't provide that for free the API uh, access uh, and instead they don't really want their sites to be scraped and that's uh, the, the kind of the situation where you have to uh, scrape things like kind of by hands and I just don't really remember if I just go to API free soft maybe I, I'm, not, I'm not sure where, where is it no it's not over there I, I don't re don't really remember guys where uh, the, the particular address of where it takes okay soft over here so, so th this is the JSON data that is taken by the application so here you see the description the name all the stuff and if you have the access to this sort of API that's really cool so well that's extremely easy to parse this sort of JSON files but if you don't uh, if just uh, know if this link is just kind of closed uh, in that case you have to deal with the rendered picture like with the rendered page already and that's the exact case where web scrapper Chrome extension becomes really handy. So what am I supposed to do here? I just uh, press uh, Control Shift I in order to uh, invoke my uh, in order to invoke my uh, developer tools here. And here, after the Chrome extension, after the Web Scrapper extension has been installed, it appears a new tab here called the Web Scrapper. Sorry, I'll go here. Well, in order to install this extension, just go to the Web Scrapper.io and uh, click this Install button. Okay, and it will just automatically install the extension to your Chrome browser. And uh, so, okay, what do we do now? Okay, and okay I uh, just let me delete this I, uh, I've already tried tried this okay sitemap so okay create new sitemap the first thing we're about to do how to create a sitemap well this extension allows you to uh, follow the links recursively and scrape the data from that but I'll show you the very basics like we would have we would be dealing only with the this single page so we just need to copy the uh, link uh, where we're supposed to scrape the data from and now just click the create sitemap here the name let's call this freesoft and the URL paste the URL we are now at basically and just click the create sitemap and now uh, we're supposed to uh, just let me minimize this a bit we're supposed to scrape data from here and as you can see the page contains multiple similar elements so uh, each card has uh, the same information well some has the source uh, some don't some has only the download probably but no source like that but yeah like here uh, so we, uh, we want to convert this into the CSV file uh, well that's kind of our goal so how are we supposed to do this? So the first thing uh, to consider is to choose the element itself and then to parse it recursively. Okay, so the first thing I I click this add selector button and here what we need here actually we, we want to say give this the ID and uh, let's call this the product and it's not it the type is element. And if uh, af when you scroll in this tense down and they appear again and again, you have to use uh, element scroll down instead. But we don't have this in this site, so we just so use the element. That's enough. And now it's time to select the actual element. So I click once and I click twice, and this selects all the elements on the page. Okay, and. I also have to click uh, the multiple for it's not just the one but there are lots of those and I just save this selector okay something okay just done selecting yeah and now save the selector and now uh, we're about to m define the inner uh, elements of each particular card 
So it, it's as you can see, this is called day of card body. The data preview, well, doesn't show anything for we didn't extract data yet. Okay. So uh, instead, I'm not r supposed to add the new selector, but instead I will go to this product, and now we are in the root product, and here we would be adding selectors for each particular element in the given uh, div card. So just click the add selector, and I say the name. It's so a bit the product name and the type of text. So this is text. That's just kind of fine. Select. Uh, I click the name. Uh, no more clicks over here, so just one click. And as far as it's only H3, like uh, header 3 <laughs> of size 3, something like that's the only, so I don't need to use this multiple, so just click the done selecting. It also supports regular expressions, by the way. Okay, and save selector, okay. And now let me just see the data preview. Okay, it's not really what I'm supposed to see here. Okay, just one more time. Okay, save selector. Can I close this? Uh, okay, let me just try to scrape and see if it works or not, basically. So what does, uh, okay, yeah, okay, okay, so here, so, so w w what has just happened, uh, here in the web scrapper, I clicked uh, sitemap scrape, and that uh, went through all of the elements, and it extracted the, this uh, element hitter free, and basically all the names uh, has been instructed for each particular product here okay so similar similarly we're supposed to add the author the description and the source and the release links now okay so guys I, I'm still new to this <laughs> kind of tool just tried this today so okay not feeling that okay here still okay so let's go to the selectors again so we are in the product okay adding a new selector and type uh, author type author is also text and select the element click this bunch here and done selecting save selector and and now probably okay okay and now well the reason why it fetches the uh, kind of names and uh, the authors and why didn't the first time that's because I didn't yet scrape the data like so that's a tiny little detail here okay and now just add another selector called uh, another selector called description basically yes yeah, so or the description well in case of e-commerce size this would be respectively the price the phone number things like that doesn't matter so the description, select this paragraph here, and then selecting, save, and data preview. So here they have the list of the descriptions for each particular product. Okay, and now another selector we call the source, and this would be the type of link. Well, I just know that this just kind of it's link. Okay. If you don't, you have to right-click, view page source, and make sure that that's the link. Actually, well, I, I, I've been, I've done this site, hence I know what the element is here. Okay, so select the source code and the save selector. Okay, done selecting, save, data preview, and as far as not every uh, product has the source code, we have some gaps here, but that's normal that's just normal. If the CSV file would contain just empty kind of rows or columns there. And now the, the last one selector is release link yeah and the link and select download and then selecting and save and data preview. Okay so not all the downloads available but still okay. 
And after the w we've done the things, we simply go to sitemap free soft. That's the name of our sitemap, the particular one. And we uh, I actually click the scrape and the start scrape. And what happens now? He just goes uh, to the page, like definitely happens when you just go to the page while your browser so kind of bypasses all the possible anti scrapping software on the site that no anti scrapping software on Monkey King's site <laughs> yeah, I didn't implement that no reason for that basically but the e commerce sites do does have that basically. So it's just uh, the server uh, observes your get request just as the just regular browser request and that's the most cool thing about this it just it's really cool by the way and I just click this refresh button and here we already have uh, okay it's not really that clear okay the name author okay description yeah yeah it's that's cool the name the author the description the source code link if available and the downloaded link also the release link if available okay okay seems like seems like okay and now just uh, in order to get the csv file i just click here sitemap export data as csv and download now download now link oh, it's, uh, i've already did this before that's <sighs> that one in the braces okay just open this now and let's see the result okay and let me just minimize the window a bit so here what we have so uh, we don't really need this first guys over here just gotta make it like so just paste so we have the name the author the description so we don't also need this guy here okay and okay we don't also need these guys and Control X, Control V. Okay, so here is the output CSV file. So we have the name for each particular product, the author, the description, uh, the source uh, link reference if available, yeah, and also the release link as well as available. Okay, guys, and as you can see, no coding skills needed. You know to do this and by the way this is how you can already start making money at Fiverr if you would just make a gig that you kind of would scrape some e-commerce site and just by actually using this little Chrome extension you can already be able to basically make some money and just scrape some amounts of data for you clients like that so no sc no coding skills and that's I, I consider that to be kind of really cool okay guys hope this was interesting and useful for you and take care